If you have an online business, then you need to be creating content. And today I'm going to be showing you the basic tools you need just to get started with creating content, whether that's posting reels, TikToks, making YouTubes, or if you even want to just take photos. So I'm going to be breaking down those tools that I use. And of course, all of these tools can be found on my Amazon store. So let's start with the very first one. The first one I like to start with is always the cell phone. So the cell phone is something that you can use. So if you don't need a camera starting off, I tell this to everybody, the camera on your iPhone, or even if you have a Samsung or a Google phone, those work perfect. So you don't have to run out and get a fancy camera. So your iPhone is the first tool that you need. Now we're going to move over to once you have your iPhone, the next thing you're going to need is some lights. My favorite tool to recommend is the ring light. So this one right here, you can see it has three connections, which you can get the one that has one, three, whichever one you need. But let's just start with the basic ring light. And I'm just going to turn it on for you so you can see how bright it gets. So that way you have no excuse for whatever time you want to film. So if you want to shoot content at night during the day, you have your ring light and it's going to give you some lighting. And let's go ahead and turn this off. And this one does have adjustable settings. So the next thing that we're going to go over to is your memory card. So I have this portable memory. So this is my memory card right here. So it doesn't matter what gigabyte you need. If you shoot a lot of content, you're going to need more space and memory. If you're just using it for your phone, then you might not need as much. But this portable memory card, like I put all of my content on here. So that way it doesn't take up a lot of storage on my phone. And with it, you'll just put your memory card right here. Let me take, remove this from the gimbal. And then you'll just plug it in down here. So you can put this in your purse, in your portable bag. And I do have a portable bag here, which all of this stuff can fit in this bag right here. So you don't have to worry about losing anything. You can just transport everything in here. So your portable memory card. Now the next thing that I have is another light. This light connects to your camera. And this one is from newer, so it'll connect like this. And when you turn it on, so if you're shooting at night, like if you're doing dinner or you're going out with the ladies and you want to have someone do your photos or your videos, you can just plug this light up to it and it'll be just like this. The next thing I, that I have is my remotes. So these remotes are for those who like to take their own pictures. So you might be at home and you just want to take your own pictures, get your poses right, you want to practice. These are perfect for that. So I recommend every content creator have one of these. This one is for the cell phone and this one is for the camera. Now, for the people who like to do car talks, they want to do anything in the car, you need a car mount. So this easy mount is one that you can just connect to the glass or to your screen, put your phone on the other end, and now you're ready to film content in your car. The next thing that I have on here is my portable battery. So if you're on the go, you go to the airport, anywhere you need to go that you're going to need your phone because you don't want to have a dead battery and you're trying to shoot content. So always have a portable battery and you always want to be safe just in case. And this one has the solar panels. So if you're at the beach, you can still charge your phone. The next thing that I'm going to show you is more chargers. So the chargers that I have, this, the, both of these go to my camera. So I just like to have extra chargers so they can charge extra batteries while I am filming if I do use my camera. Now we're going to talk about some camera equipment that I have. So the first thing is this tripod. So the tripod is a handheld tripod. And for this one in particular, this one is for vlogging. So those who like to carry, you can either put your phone on here or you can put this camera on here. So those who like to film like this. And for this particular camera that I have, it's a Canon G7X, very beginner friendly. It's a point and shoot camera, so you don't have to worry about switching out any of the lenses. All you have to do, turn it on, point, shoot, literally just like it says. The thing that I love about the Canon G7X is it's very beginner friendly and you can pop up the screen. So when you are vlogging, you'll be able to see yourself as you talk. So this is the Canon G7X. And if you search this on YouTube, you'll see a lot of people have this camera. This is an OG vlogging YouTube camera. And it's also great, like, especially for, this was my first camera that I bought to invest in my channel. And I used to do my sit down videos with this as well, because the camera quality is great. All my photos that you see on my Instagram were taken with this camera because it also has a flash. And I'm going to show you 
how bright that flash is. See? So, if you don't have this flash or you don't bring the ring light, you're just going out, this flash will do wonders for you. It'll be perfect for you. But that's the Canon G7X and then our handheld tripod. Now, my favorite tripod of all, oh, let me turn this off first. My favorite tripod of all is this one. So, this is the one that I put my phone on. Like, if I'm taking pictures at home, I'm putting my phone on this tripod. The thing that I like about this tripod is it can adjust to six feet. This one is very sturdy. As you can see, I just have it propped on the propped on the counter right now. But right here is where you can adjust them and make this as long as you need. So as you can see, the leg popped out. But right now we have it short. And then also, if you need to flip, if you need to flip your camera over, it does have a hook so you can get those low angles as well. So this is my favorite tripod. You can have your camera on here, your phone on here, very sturdy, and it has the technology on here to tell you if your phone is centered or not. So this is my favorite tripod. Let's see, what didn't I go over? Oh, the last thing, well, the second to last thing that I have is my gimbal. So if you don't know what a gimbal is, and this is something that's not really for beginners, but if you do a lot of motion videos, a gimbal is what you'll use to make sure that your video is stabilized. So you know how sometimes you'll see people videos and it's shaking. If you put your phone on this, it's going to keep your phone very steady. So when you film your content, everything will be in a smooth line. You won't have to worry about shaky videos. And the thing that I like about this is you can connect it to your phone. If you're shooting content, you can have it follow you with your phone and you'll just use it as a remote. And then the last thing that I have on here is for my podcast people or my YouTubers who just like to have a microphone. I have a I blue one and I love this microphone. This is the one that I use for all my YouTube videos. So if you need a microphone that's very reliable, great sound, you can connect it to your computer. You can use this one for your YouTube videos and your podcast. So these are all the tools that I use for my videos and my content creation. So if you need some tools, you like some of the ones in this video, I'm going to drop the links to everything that I mentioned in this video below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media channels at that. It's I am Destiny Adams on pretty much all platforms. And I'm going to drop those in the comment section too as well. So now you, have, you guys have no excuse for creating content. And make sure you go ahead and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.